And then there was this other time, and I'm not bragging, just happens to be where I was. I was in Sheridan, Wyoming. Thank you. <laughs> I'll share this with you. I was driving my minivan, because I know you're looking at me going, uh, Rodney, a man of your same caliber who drives a minivan? Oh, yes, I keep one in the fleet. Because <laughs> I got to do uh, some keep ba the ladies uh, back up off me. <laughs> so, me, I know what I'm dealing with. Ever since I got up here, you've been staring at me, thinking to yourself, wow, this looks like the loser cousin of Jeff Bridges. <laughs> Some of the older people are staring at me thinking, he looks just like Kenny Rogers at the time he decided to get plastic surgery. <laughs> he looks like Santa Claus gave up. <laughs> Sorry there, I'm getting a, I get the liquid petroleum from a ride. And they got a little store there, and it's a store, beverages and snacks. I'm a big fan of the beverages and the snacks. <laughs> so I started heading into the store, okay? And uh, as I'm walking, it's a long, big parking lot. Wyoming, they got a lot of space. They got, everybody's driving, you know, uh, tractors, and they got, everybody's got trailers, so they all come into town for provisions. <laughs> so a lot of space. So, so distance is from the, from the, Look with petroleum pumps to the, to the store, right? So I'm walking, I'm walking to the store, and here's what happened. This dude is coming out of the store at the same time, right? He's got a couple things in his arms, and he looks over at me as he's standing there, and he just stops holding the door with, you know, with, the, with his butt. <laughs> Which I might add, it's perfectly suited for. <laughs> if you ever get in an argument about intelligence, intelligent design versus evolution. You throw that one out at him, boom, you win checkmate. You ain't coming up with that by chance. So the dude sees me and I see him, you know, it's kind of an awkward moment. I'm kind of like, you know, I realize he's looking at me, so I had to do that kind of weird the, you, you know, you're walking, and then you gotta look like... <laughs> you kinda act like you're running, but you're not really running. In fact, you actually go slower than if you just kept walking. But it sort of lets you know it's sort of the international sign of, if I could run, I would do it now. All right, so I'm, I'm scurrying, scurrying over towards him, All right? Also, you understand something about me. I'm very secure with who I am as a man. Uh, that I can handle uh, another man holding a door for me. Very secure. In fact, I'm so secure with who I am as a man, I can give another man a hug. A good hug. <laughs> Not that weird handshake and tap on the shoulder thing we do. That's just gay. <laughs> or sometimes you do the two taps and you're out hug. Two taps, quit touching me hug. You know what I'm saying? Not me. Two taps, I go in tighter. <laughs> If I'm feeling it from the dude, I'll lift him up and pop his back. <laughs> That's how secure I am. <laughs> so I get, I get it, I get, I get to his door, right, right, and I, and, 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 and I go, hey, right. Cause that's what we do, dude. So we just, hey. So we need everything we need to say, right? Just say, hey, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, if you had time, I'd go, you know, come fishing with me. Well, I'd really like to, we're just passing through. Yeah, well, uh, I got a nice boat. Hey, that's pretty cool. Is that, was that your boat over there? Yeah, that was my boat. Uh, that's pretty cool. All that with, huh? <laughs> All right, because if it's two ladies, it gets weird. You know what I mean? It's got to turn into a thing. All right, you know what I mean? Because one lady's like, <clears throat> hey, I just uh, wanted you to know, I really appreciate that you took your time 
uh, to wait for me and stand here and hold the door because you didn't have to hold the door because I was so far away that you could have just kept going and you didn't have to stop. But obviously you got things going on in your life and you got all that arms are full of stuff and your family's probably waiting for you and you just took a moment to hold the door for me and I just want you to know that even though it wasn't, it's not a big thing, it is a big thing to me because it's the little things that really matter and I just want you to know that I totally and truly appreciate what you've done. <laughs> Well, I want you to know that I truly appreciate that you took on time to appreciate what I was doing, because I'm not trying to make any big statements. I'm not trying to break down the patriarchy or anything. I'm just trying to be a nice person. And people just need to be nice to people. And don't, people are just so mad about everything and all the time. And I just think just a little tight pleasantries, just be nice to each other is what we really need to do. <laughs> That is so true. I just completely understand exactly what you're saying. I think that we need to show the world that be, there are still nice people in this world. Would you let me take a picture of you? Can we take a picture? Let's get a picture. Just need it in room. That is perfect. I'm going to post it. I'm going to put it on my Instagram. It's just, um, now, what's your name again? Robin. Okay. Oh my goodness, you know Denise from Denver? You know Denise from Denver? Well, of course I know Denise from Denver. We've been friends forever. We used to do Lou La Rue together, and then we got lots of stuff, and the people weren't buying the Lou La Rue, because it's like once you have, you know, 10 or 7 pieces of Lou La Rue, you pretty much have everything you're ever going to need from Lou La Rue. So then, we, so then we decided, you know what we should do? We should do the candles. And so we started doing the, um, we just started doing the New England candles, because uh, they're really nice, but they have to, they came out the three wicks, and I just didn't understand why you had to do the three wicks, because they're always strong enough with one wick, and then you do the three wicks, it's just too strong, then you gotta open the window, and then what's the point of having a candle if you're just gonna open the window? And then, but if you only light one of the wicks, it burns down off of that one side, and then it gets scatty wampus, and it kind of ruins the aesthetic of the candle all to begin with, and it just kind of defeats the purpose if you have just three wicks. <laughs> telling people, I don't understand the three wicks. Now they're coming out with five wicks. That's just crazy. So I started doing scentsy candles. <gasps> scentsy candles, that's what we've been doing. I love the scentsy candles, because you can get more of a variety with just the wind. wind. <laughs> or, you know, something like that.